mind player. Hello. Uh. Okay. Got it. Where are you guys? Good here. Thank you. Have a good thank you. <laughs> Together we are strong. Remember, press the W key. Keep pressing the W key. Press the left shift when essentially the more you press W, the more damage they're going to be forced to put your way. Then you press left shift and you press the S key. And if you're not pressing the S key as soon as you left shift, that's almost a sign that you're not play that you've used your left shift too early. Mm, because yeah, it's it obviously depends on the context, you know, how much damage is being dealt, for example. You might hang around a bit with 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 your left shift. But just press the W key until they s prevent you pressing the W key. Now you're scouting for what do they have? Do they have Somra? Do they have May? Do they have Bastion? Do they have Torb? Pandaria. W, 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 left shift, left shift. Oh, I thought I pressed it, what? No, nope, you didn't press left shift. I'm Instead, so you decided so to feed. W, 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 left shift. There you go. Now your Ryan can press W and press E on him so he can keep pressing W. Whoa, look, you're 60 charge. Nice and easy. Don't charge their Zarya. Yeah, in downtime you can reload. Don't charge their Zarya. Oh, yeah, this is just rotating with your team target focus. Oh, Ryan got booped. Someone got picked off early by Genji. You've got Moira and Ana. Press, up, press W, get some charge. So your bubble is on a 10 second cooldown. So if it's 10 seconds before the fight, go in. Press E on your Ryan and get some charge. Look at that, 80 charge. Now you can just destroy their shield nice and easy. And then you can E your Ryan and then your left shift is available again. And you can just left click and right click to your heart's content. I, I don't know what's happening. Like, my team keep dying behind me. Then ask. Ask. Probably... Like, ask what, what how you're supposed to die. Keep track of enemy Genji. Okay. So then you've got a McCree. Tell your McCree to stay with your supports or tell your supports to play close to the tanks. Go. Ryan, stop chasing Genji. Tell, tell your team, just go, go point, go point, go point. Just go to point. Well, push. Press w. w. That's a GG. Oh my god. For that fight at least. Being out yeah. Communicate with your team. Work out what's happening and why it's happening. McCree, can you stay close to the support so that when Genji dies him, you can literally just flashback right click, flashbang right click him. Go forward, get some charge, get some charge. Tell your supports to play closer as well. Right. Someone is on top. Of come, come left side. Go. W W key. Don't have bubble for you. Okay. I've got a grab here. Don't grab, don't no, grab. No, we've lost fight, we've lost fight. I just can't play. Not You're not staggering not yourself. They, they should, one should be. What are you saying? They use beat, it's fine. We just grab next fight. Okay, your support should be playing close to your McCree and your McCree should be playing close to the tanks. Direct the team. Get them to do what you need them to do. Go left side, go left side, go left side, go left side. I'm ready, I'm ready. Come left. Wait. Aim. Ugh. You've got to follow your tanks. Nice. Guys, what are you still doing back there? Come on. 
Bitch. Everybody got purples. There was no range shield that could block a nade from him. He was getting around so he was fucking low because he was spamming it. Because he was always spamming on the trick for like 5 million hours before anyone gets a point. So what's happening now is they're just... This is pointless complaining. You need yeah. to be saying to them... Right. Bec the supports and the DPS need to be playing close to the tanks. Like... You just need to tell them very clearly and concisely. And it's not asking, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? It is... McCree, stay close to the tanks. Supports, hug the tanks. Play as close to the tanks as you can do. You're just telling them what to do. Okay. Obviously on defense it's slightly different, but... It's really important that you're doing... You know, you have to identify what the problem is. Go big, go big, go big. I don't... So when we're playing enough. with McCree, McCree, you need to stay close to the tanks and the supports need to stay close to McCree. It's all like... Pushing together, because if we split apart, then it just gives Genji space to dive us. Hey, McCree, if you wanna, you can go big. Together, we are strong. Oh, Attackers are incoming. I, I can't. It's just, it, it, it just. Identify the problem, solve the problem. Next, 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 next. Oh, what? Who? But what do you normally that, that's all you're concerned with. You're not uh, concerned with uh, distracted chatter or complaining uh, or toxic ah, shit, uh, or, just, or excuses. It is what's the problem? What are we going to do to fix the problem? Play forwards. You have a left shift ability. Get some charge. Get some charge. Okay. There you go. Now press oh, S God. and and F E your Rhine. Look at that. You're 80 charge now. You could just right click, right click, left shift, left. Just. Destroy their shield. Just put pressure on them. Put pressure on them. There you go. Their shield's destroyed already. Put pressure on them. Your job is creating and maintaining space. You're letting them walk in for free. Push up, push up. We can't keep backing away. So yeah, your team just allowed them to walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in. There was no pressure on them. As Zarya, you are one of the best characters on your team for applying pressure. That if you're at 100 charge, you are a big threat. If you're at zero, you're not a threat. If you're at 30, 40 charge, you're not a threat. If you're at 80 charge, you can destroy their Rhine shield. You can deal damage to the DPS. You could just right click and do a lot of damage and get a lot of ult charge. You're a threat and you have bubbles and yeah, get yourself high charge and then that allows you to do things. Remember, you've got to almost have this solo carry mentality almost of Zaya. That you're get up to charge. I am going to do the job of everyone. I'm gonna deal damage. I'm going to be creating space pressure, you know, you've got to be doing all of that.